All right, guys, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to show you how to make a serializer class. So before we get started, let's figure out what the heck a serializer class is. And the most important question, does it have anything to do with cereal? The best, by the way, is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. The answer to that is yes, it does. I'm just kidding. It doesn't. All right. So a serializer class is a class that's going to convert this model to JSON data. Because remember, right now, whenever the user requests a website, we usually just send them back regular old HTML in an HTTP response. However, we don't want to send them HTML. That's only for whenever you want information from a browser. What we want to do is we want to send them JSON. So we need a way to convert this to JSON, and that's what a serializer class is. That's all it is. Whenever you read the documentation, they make it sound like it's something incredibly complicated. It's not. So I'm just going to name this class serializers and it's going to go right in my company's app right there. And in order to do this, we actually need to import some stuff from the rest framework. So from rest framework import serializers. And also we need to import whatever models we want to serialize. And by the way, whenever you hear the term serialize, that just means taking a model and converting it to some data that you can actually either just save on a hard drive or like transfer across the network. Because the reason that we need to serialize things is let's say that we have these stock objects. Well, you can use them in our program, but what happens when we want to save them to a thumb drive and give them to our friends? Well, we just can't save Python objects to a thumb drive. So that's why we need to serialize it. Basically saving data in a format that you can transfer. So that's it. All right, where was I? So from models import stock. All right, so the common class name for this is just whatever your model name is, which is stock, followed by serializer. Make sure I spell everything correctly. All right, so whatever object you're trying to serialize, just say that object, serializer. Simple enough. So now you actually need to inherit from serializers.model serializer. And again, this is all built in. You get it from the REST framework. Basically, we're going to be converting something to JSON based on a model. So this is the blueprint that we're going to use. In other words, whenever we send this JSON response, it knows to include the ticker, open, close, and volume. So all those pieces of information, we don't have to specify it. So now what we can do is we can make class meta and we can actually further configure these. So the first thing you need to do is you actually need to say what model you're trying to serialize. So I know that we only have one in here right now, but let's say that we have one for stocks and companies and users and pictures, whatever. You can actually write all your classes in the same file. So that's why you need to specify the specific one right here. Now the next thing you specify in here are whenever the user requests information about stocks, what attributes do you want to return? So you can either return all of them right here, or maybe you have some weird ID number or maybe some, I don't know, formula about stocks you were working on and you don't want to send it to the user. Let's say that you only wanted to send them back the ticker and the volume. So how would you specify that? Well, if you use the keyword fields, then go ahead and add whatever attributes you want to send back. So I'll just write ticker and volume. So just like that. So then again, whenever they make a request that says, hey, give me information about Facebook, it's only going to send back their ticker and volume and not their open or close. Now, a cool little shortcut is if you want to return everything, then what you can do is you can go in here and just type ticker, open, close, volume, or a shorter way is if you just go fields, it's giving me a red line, thought I spelled it wrong. All right, so dunder all dunder. So double underscore all, double underscore. And again, the reason that you may not want to do this is if you have some like weird primary keys or like ID number for the user that you don't want them to see, whatever. But in this example, I'm just going to go ahead and send back all of those fields boom roasted. 